Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of these Resaurus figures. As I had recently shown them in an acquisition video, basically showing you guys what dino scores I've found lately. And a lot of people were really interested in these, so I am putting them up here on the channel for review, even though they are pretty darn old. As I've said in the last two reviews of these figures, you're probably tired of me saying it already, but these are basically what the Beast of the Mesozoic figures are currently before the Beast of the Mesozoic figures existed. So they're very articulated dinosaur models. Again, they don't really hold up too well when it comes to scientific accuracy to what we know today. However, for their time, they really were quite beautiful models. This one, as you can tell, probably this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it does have a very cool appearance to it. Very nice looking paint scheme. So let's go ahead, not waste any time, and just get a closer look. So as far as the sculpting of the head goes, it does look really quite nice. Again, it's kind of similar to the Giganotosaurus, where it feels like maybe some of the detail and sculpt that would be included in something nowadays is kind of muted on this older figure. However, the detail is really quite nice. You can see lots of creases in the skin and cracks and crevices all throughout the dinosaur's head. Some very nice looking skin texture along with some beautiful sculpt around the eye that does look really nice. The eyes are a yellowish color, similar to what you see on like all the Jurassic Park Rexes. So I'm starting to think that the consensus is as far as T-Rex goes, they got yellow eyes because it seems like everybody always gives them yellow eyes. However, the eyes do look really nice on this figure, and they look even nicer simply because of the fact that the head is a very dark coloration, so the brighter yellow eye really sticks out, and it does look really quite beautiful on this. As with all of these figures, it does have an articulated jaw. It sports some pretty nice sculpt work there on the inside of the skin flap, especially on the inside of the mouth. That looks really, really nice very realistic it's got a potentially realistic purplish color in there for the inside of the mouth the teeth are painted really quite nicely especially on the upper jaw those are actually perfect and beautiful they actually look really nice in the lower jaw as well so the teeth are really nice on this rex they are a good bit of a brighter white than i would expect them to be in real life however they do still look quite nice the overall coloration of the head you can see is primarily like a black type color, almost like a licorice type black, and it does have some splotches of like a purplish color here and there, and then when you get down into the lower jaw it does turn into a green. There is a little bit of green on the upper jaw as well, and it does really quite nicely transition to that green from the blackish color, and really does look very realistic and quite beautifully applied honestly. As you start to move down the neck, you can see all sorts of wrinkling and skin folding going on. Very nice skin creasing, especially up here on the top of the back, and it does seem to have been hit with a beautiful dry brushing that uh, really helps to bring out the detail. You can see the underside of the throat does also include a lot of skin creases and wrinkling and skin folding all over the place down there as well. The coloration appears to be kind of a brighter green that gradually turns into this darker almost like a military green on the underside and it does have some black stripes that are kind of outlined with a purple up here on the neck and that same type of a paint scheme really quite nicely follows the entire body as you move down here into the stomach region you can also see the very nice shoulder blade protruding from the skin there a little bit you've got the very beautiful looking rex arms you can see some nice musculature in them very nicely painted nails as well the sculpt work and detailing of the arms does look really nice and you can also pick up on quite a few variations of greens throughout giving it a very realistic appearance as far as skin tone goes they've done a very good job there as you start to get into the stomach you can see the beautiful skin texture and actually you can take note of the rib cage is really beautifully portrayed there as I turn it and let the light glisten, you should be able to pick up on that rib cage really quite nicely. Beautiful skin folding going on down here in the stomach. There is a lot of skin wrinkling and kind of just big rough looking skin all over the stomach region. That looks really nice. The detail on the underside also looks really quite beautiful. And just like with all of the other figures, when you pull the leg back, you can now see the skin stretching there, or at least that's what it looks like. It does make that appearance. And then when you push the leg up so it's taking a step, it covers that up. You no longer see the skin stretching. I really love the fact that they've done that because it gives it such a beautiful appearance as far as realism goes and really allows the posability of this to look realistic no matter what way you 
pose the figure. Very nice musculature here in the thigh. And again, you can pick up on that black and purple that stripes down into the leg a little bit here. As you get down into the lower part of the leg, you can see the kneecaps really nicely. The calf muscles are big and bulging, very large like I would expect on a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very nicely sculpted feet as well. Beautifully painted nails. Really beautiful overall everywhere you look. The dew claws aren't painted, however, that's not too big of a deal. Most companies almost always miss out on those dew claws for some reason. Beautiful skin wrinkling here behind the leg. Nice hip bone up here on the top, and there is just a whole lot of skin creases going on all throughout this Rex, pretty much everywhere. Here you can see that the tail is cracked a little bit due to its age. It is definitely aging kind of poorly in this area, but that's because the tail is a real feel type of a tail. It's a rubber, similar to what you see on the Rebor dinosaurs currently, where you can articulate the tail, and it is starting to show its age for sure. However, you can see that the tail then transitions to a slightly different green, and there are a few variations of green included as you run out the length of the tail, and that black and purple striping also runs out the length of the tail. Very nice skin texture, and everything really does look quite beautiful the entire way out the tail. And just like with all of the others, the opposing side looks just like the other side, because this is a posable dinosaur so it comes in a totally neutral position and the overall movement of the dinosaur will be portrayed by you when you put it into whatever position you want it posed in so this side really does not differ from the opposing side it's all exactly the same and equally as beautiful the only thing I guess you could say that is different on this side is I don't have that crack right here so if I were displaying this I'm thinking this is probably the side to go with. Just like with the others it does not stand any longer due to the fact that these actually did come with a base initially and this one does not have the base none of mine that I currently have the base for unfortunately you could see that it would look really quite beautiful if it was positioned up and posed it would really look quite striking, but unfortunately the legs will crumble if I leave it, yeah, see it falls right on his face and the legs start to bend, but until I acquire the bases, that's just the way it is. As far as articulation goes, I did say that you have articulation in the jaw, which can really open quite wide if you would like it to. The head itself has a little bit of a wiggle to it, but doesn't really articulate too much. You can see it does look left and right, but it's not too much as far as articulation there but it does look pretty good and then of course you've got articulation in the neck articulation in the shoulder joint of the arm and then you've also got articulation in the hip the knee and the ankle of the rex and then the tail is flexible and bendable to put it in whatever position you want but they, I don't think they really mastered this back then, so once you do bend the tail, half the time it usually comes back, almost all the time actually. You can see it's kind of staying in position right now, but over time it will kind of start to bend back, or at least that's what mine does. As far as the size goes on this Tyrannosaurus, if we are going to go from, I'm going to turn them around and make it a little easier for myself, I think. So if we go from the tail to the head, it's not perfect, it's not very easy to do either because he's kind of not able to balance so it's a little tough you're looking at about 14 and a quarter inches or about 36 and a half centimeters and for a height I'm going to probably try to balance him out about this point because that's a probably where the Rex would be comfortable in as far as a position goes so I would think that he would probably be most natural and realistic at about that height so you're going to go about five maybe about five and a quarter inches or about 13 and a half centimeters again this rex really just depends on how you pose him how high he would really be because again you could have him up really high or you can have him in a more natural position which if i were posing him i'd have him probably down like this for a size comparison there is the papo t-rex and it almost looks like they're kissing actually but you can see that the resource t-rex is actually a good bit larger than the papo rex as far as length goes but maybe if the papo rex was standing with his tail out they might actually be around the same size very similar size as far as the head sculpt goes so I'm thinking they might be around the same scale, somewhere in that same vicinity. But this should give you a pretty good idea if you do have Mr. Green Papo Rex or Mr. Brown Papo Rex or Mr. Rainbow Papo Rex. Regardless, if you've got this standing Papo Rex, you should get a pretty good idea of around the size of this resource Rex. 
So this Resaurus Tyrannosaurus Rex is really quite the beauty, as are all of the Resaurus figures. Again, for its time, it was an absolute marvel because back when this was created, you really did not get articulation in your dinosaur figures like you see here. So these were really groundbreaking for their time and honestly are just absolutely magnificent still to this day. Again, the sculpts on a lot of these figures are a good bit outdated as they are fairly old. However, I still think they look fantastic. And it's really cool to see this kind of style coming back into play when it comes to the Beast of the Mesozoic currently. So it's really cool to have these kind of early inspirations at the same time. The sculpt of this looks really beautiful. I am a big fan of this Rex overall. I think the sculpt is fantastic. The detail is all really nicely sculpted in there. A little tiny bit muted in the face, but not too much at all. I think the paint job is really beautiful also. It's actually something that I could definitely see a T-Rex being with the green and dark black and everything. And I'm surprised with how beautiful that purple kind of meshes in there. It's kind of a color that you don't expect to really work so well on a dinosaur, but it really does look quite beautiful on this figure. And I think they did a great job unquestionably choosing to outline the black with the purple. I think that was a great choice. All of the paint, for the most part, looks naturally applied, maybe not perfectly realistic. However, I think it's natural enough that I definitely like it. So, if you do want to buy one of these figures, they are a pretty big pain in the butt to get a hold of, unfortunately. They are long discontinued, so you'll have to resort to eBay and probably paying some significantly higher prices than you would have had you purchased them back when they were initially released. So I will try my best to find one on eBay to link you guys in the description if you do want to pick one up. I definitely recommend these figures, so check the description. Go buy one of these awesome resource Rex figures if you are interested. But before you do that, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.